Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and my channel name Diamond Painting with Sabrina. Uh, today I wanted to do a kidding up for my newest huge project of this painting. Uh, you can't even see the full size, it barely fits my desk. Um, I'll put the diamonds aside and show you the corner where you see the thumbnail of the painting. It's a very small print, so you know what? I'll grab my iPad and give you a quick look at my painting of what I ordered. Let's see. Here we go. Ah. Ooh, let's get an interview. Here we go. Ah, I think this is a gorgeous picture. I want to do Sorry, just putting my iPad away. I wanted to do this painting for my living room. I want to place it above my couch. I have a huge painting hanging there already with a picture of the canals of Amsterdam. It's a gorgeous picture. Uh, it's an aquarelle painting, an oil painting actually. Let me say that correctly. It's an oil painting. I have it hanging for about 10 years. But um, the way it's hanging, how it's framed, it's done with a wire. And I put the wire on the side of the canvas. So if this is the canvas, I put a wiring here. So it's hanging on one hook. And because of that, during the last 10 years, the painting warped and it it's collapsing on itself. So I was like, I still enjoy the picture, but I want to do something new. So I'm going to do this painting for above my couch. And I wanted to do a quick kitting up with you guys. So um, I did an unboxing of this one and I couldn't get... All the diamonds back in its original packaging so I put it in a mesh bag and look at this all those diamonds this is massive this is just one color look at that so huge job I had of kitting this one up uh, standard kit, a white boat, piece of wax, pink pen, uh, some baggies and a small curved set of tweezers. Uh, this is a round kit so I don't know why I got tweezers with it but okay let's put that aside. We don't need that for now and let's kit up this painting, I already did when I did the unboxing an um, inventory check. So this sheet I'm going to be using to label the pots because I'm using ooh, this 60 bottle case. Uh, I did another project so I wasn't able to use it for a long time. Uh, unfortunately I had to quit that painting. I didn't finish it actually. Uh, we had some issues. Uh, the canvas was really, really, really bad. I ran out of diamonds. Uh, it was a nightmare. The, the symbols on the canvas were very hard to read. So I actually, I gave it up. I decayed it. Uh, you you never seen this on my channel. I started this way, way, way before I started this channel. So, uh, no, sorry. 
No picture, no information about that painting, but let's forget about that one and let's do this one. It was a shame because it, the image was gorgeous. It, you know what? I still have it here behind me. I'll give you a quick look. Oh, let me grab it. Okay, because I didn't throw it away yet. Uh, maybe one day I'll finish it, I don't know, but this was my first massive piece, it's 106 by 43 centimeter square, and actually this was my first project and my first idea to put above my couch. And as you see, I did roughly over half the painting. Uh, do that I even quit and I gave up. Um, and we had massive issues. It doesn't look that bad, so I'm not sure what to do with this. And I still have a way to go. This is the other roughly... 40% of the canvas to be finished and I'm already missing colors and one of the major colors one of the pinks so <laughs> I'm not able to finish this rose and this rose because I don't have the color anymore so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this canvas for now it's stored in my closet in my bookcase actually <coughs> And where did I put the clip? Oh, there. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, maybe one day I'll pick it up. Maybe I'm like, I'm never going to finish it and throw it out anyway. What would you do? Would you finish it anyway, even though it has major, major issues? Or would you say, nah, I'm over it. It's going out and I'm going to do my next project. And never look back. Uh, I'll be curious to hear what you would do. Uh, just let me put this one back. Hold on. Yes. All right, I'm back. So now we want to start a new major project. This man and woman, and uh, I'm going to shove the diamonds on the side. Let's grab this and I'm going to grab my Zion label maker. Yes, guys, I finally received it. Um, I used it already for one small painting to see how it works. And yeah, I'm happy. So I'm going to cut down this strip with the symbol and the DMC number. So let's grab some scissors and cut it out. Now, let's see, what can I tell about this painting? Okay, uh, I bought it on AliExpress and the name for this piece is Sexy men and women wedding gift for the bedroom. Strange name, but okay. <laughs> it's a 60 by 90 round. I thought I ordered a square, but actually I ordered a round piece. That's fine. I, I, I do both. I don't mind square or round diamonds. Uh, let's see what else uh, the store is um, pink memory store let's put that aside don't need that for now don't need that that's trash need that um, yeah store name pink memory store I 
made for this canvas. Ooh, I need to get this in straight. Hold on, hold on. I still need to practice with this. And I'm not going straight at all. Okay. It's going in crooked. Let's see if I can save this by cutting it down. A little bit crooked, but okay. Ooh. Yeah, I went way, way, way wrong. Okay. Attempt two for the other half. It's a wonderful thing, but Oh, you need to practice with that. Come on, grab it. There we go. Yeah, I got it on straight now. Ooh, okay. Yes. Put that aside. Rub it down. Oh, I still need the scissors. I think I messed this one up a little bit trying to get it straight, but we'll see if it works. Okay, anywho, let's see, um, I paid 28 euros 46 cents for this piece and I need to get my trash bin, hold on, ooh, okay, I'm not as prepared as I should be, all right. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut down each section and just place them on the bottles first. And then when we start kidding up, I'll just grab a number and the corresponding pot and fill them and see how far we get. Um, the painting price is... 23 euros 65 cents. I had to pay tax for this piece of 4 euros 81 cents. Uh, if I can find a dollar price, I'll put a dollar price down below because some, I know some of you uh, prefer dollar prices. I'm in the Europe, so I pay euros. Uh, for this company, I didn't have to pay any shipping costs, so that was lovely. So my total price, $28.46. Um, I ordered it July 28th. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. July 28th. They shipped it on August 2nd. And I received my painting August 14th, so around two weeks from ordering till delivery. So for AliExpress, I find that absolutely wonderful. Couldn't ask more for that. Um, when I finish this painting, I... My attention is to order a second one because it's a series. Let me show you. Let's grab my iPad again. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Let's because I already have it in my account. So let me open my account. There it is. Uh, let's zoom in. It's a little bit darker, so I hope you can see it. Ooh, that way. There we go. I think with her print, uh, print, pink dress and her red hair, which is the same as the other one. They both have pink hair. I think they would be absolutely gorgeous to hang side by side above my couch. I have the space to do that for two paintings from 60 by 90 centimeters. That's not a problem. 
finding um, frames for it. That's probably is gonna be a little bit of an issue. I hope I can find a good quality for a decent price frame uh, in that size in a store. Otherwise I have to do a custom framing job and that isn't cheap, but we'll see. For now, let's first start with this one before we even consider the second painting and the framing and everything else. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, let, let's talk about what I'm doing currently. It's uh, very quiet in the house. So this is my second day of my vacation. So I thought, perfect moment to start this painting because this means I have loads of time to do as much as I can before I have to go back to work. Uh, I'm gonna put them as always in DMC order. That's just the way how I'm used to work with uh, my paintings. I don't do them in symbol order. I don't know why. It, it's something I prefer to do in DMC order. Um, the first couple of mm, days, like two, three days, you'll be uh, searching and searching. Oh, let's do this straight. Searching and searching for the symbol you need, but you now after two, three days, you are used to find, at least I do, where I put the bottles and it goes quicker and quicker and quicker. So I know which row, which position roughly or exactly where to look for which. Um, symbol so I'm not too worried about that on this um, piece of paper this I forgot the word <laughs> this legend yes that's the word I was looking for uh, the symbols are very clear uh, when I finish this first piece of sticking the labels on, I'm actually gonna lift a little bit of the corner of the painting. Probably means I have to push all the diamonds off my desk, but hey, we'll make it work. And let's take another peek because I did that with the unboxing to look at the details on the canvas, how the symbols, how the clarity of the canvas is. Because I remember looking and I think the symbols were very clear, but uh, I filmed the unboxing Actually, was this the painting I received the day I was doing an unboxing? I remember doing an unboxing video and I don't know if I placed it on YouTube already. I think I did. Where I did an unboxing or I was supposed to film an unboxing and the moment I wanted to press record I got a delivery of a canvas and I don't remember if that was this painting or another big piece. And if I remember correctly, the symbols were very clear on the canvas. But I 
not sure now about the detailing so I'm just curious I want to take another peek all right uh, this is going to take a little while before I'm finished so I'm gonna speed this part up uh, until I've labeled all the bottles and I'll be right back bottles are labeled up 45 colors and I'm ready to start filling them uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do everything on camera because these are a lot of diamonds so this is gonna take probably forever to finish <laughs> So let's see how far we get. I'm gonna scoot the diamonds away because, and the case, because like I said, I wanted to take a closer look at the drill fields. Now I do remember that this canvas has a lot of rivers in it, again, like most of my huge paintings do. I hope you'll be able to see this. I think I'm gonna definitely need a light pad while doing this canvas. But taking a closer look, uh, they look okay. The purples are a bit difficult to read with the black letters and numbers. This also has training wheels on it, I notice now. So that's fine. I don't mind that. I think I never done one with training fields. But the darker colors are much clearer. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get as close as possible and I don't know if the camera wants to focus. But, oh dear. It's a little bit difficult when you have such a huge canvas as this one. So let's get started. A trash bin. I use a glass container for my trash. I don't think all these are gonna fit in here but we'll see how far I get. I think I have to empty it at some point. But let's get started. I'm gonna tuck this inside the flap and I'm just gonna grab one and let's begin 918 uh, my scissors I already put them away 
Um, I don't remember how many bags fit in one bottle, so that's going to be interesting. But let's see how we get on. Okay. Well, great start. <laughs> I caught the bag, but I didn't open it. <laughs> okay, second attempt. Oh, needs a big snip. Ooh. And I'm already making a mess of it. Here we go. Uh, actually, I'm gonna throw a few back to see how the drills are. Ah, they look good. Okay. Put way too much down. So, just a minute. Well, I'm trying to get those back in the bottle. Now, uh, each packet contains about 200 diamonds, and this should at least be able to contain, let's put this one closer, contain a thousand, so I should at least get five bags in one pot. Let's see if I can do this the second time without making any mess. Come on. This one doesn't want to get out. Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, now, these are four bags and it's a little bit halfway full, so they fit a lot of diamonds, but I don't think they'll be able to fit every strip color. So this is number that's the right side up 814. That's that one. Now I ordered this painting because it reminds me of uh, the cover of a novel, uh, you know, the old romance novels, medieval times, boy meets girl in the highlands who is a prince or a king or a warrior or whatever. <laughs> And they run into issues as usual. And somehow they make it work and fall in love with each other. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I used to read them a lot when I was younger. I haven't read those type of books in years. But that's Sometimes I still read an occasional history novel, you know, when you want something simple to read and just read a feel-good story, boy meets girl, girl meets boy, and they fall in love. And that's one of the reasons why I chose this one. And the other one was because I was really curious to know how uh, people, you know, humans would turn out on a canvas. Well, I may be framing it or saying it a little bit strange, but I think you get what I mean. Because animals are a little bit easier I think I consider this full so I can get 
six packets in it. So I consider that full and I'm going to put those to the other side. And depending on how much it is, I'll try to fit them in this, um, in here, or I'll store them somewhere else. But like I said, animals I think are easier to do in a diamond painting, but humans with skin tones and everything, I was very curious to know how those turn out. So say, because of that, I only ordered one and I didn't order the other one yet because I wanted to see how this one would turn out before I order the next one. If I love it because it turned out gorgeous, I'm gonna definitely order the other one. And if it turns out horrible that the skin tone is not what I was hoping, then hey, I had fun doing this one. And I don't know what I would do with the painting then, because if it turns out horrible, I'm not gonna hang it around above my couch. I'm not going to put it in my neighboring room, but that's for later to figure out. Okay, another huge strip. That's 310 and that one contains 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, whoop, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8, 30. Oh, it's all messed up. Oh, 32, 4, 6, 8, 42, 6, 8, 52, 4, Six, eight, fifty-eight bags. That's a huge black. That's a lot. Three ten. All right. So this painting contains a lot of black. I think it's probably background outlining. Oh, let's take a closer look at the picture. Uh, his hair is probably going to be black and I see yeah this is not the most let's grab the iPad again now oh, did I close the app or oh here it is I did it okay okay hold on this app doesn't want to work with me. It's... Oh, come on. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, let's see. Because actually, when I'm looking at the picture, I don't see... 58 bags worth of black. I see a lot of black in his hair. And I think this is dark blue, his trousers, but it could also turn out to be black. I think there's a lot of black in the trees here. I see some shadowing between the two of them, so that's probably a lot of black. But the rest of the painting, I don't see that much black, to be honest. Like I said, I'm very curious how their skin tones is going to turn out because he has like an olive colored skin tone. She's very pale with her red hair. Uh, I'm curious how that's going to turn out. If it's going to turn out lovely or a hot mess. 
so when I start the painting, uh, ooh, I'm making a mess again. I'm definitely gonna give you updates on how it's going. And like I said, I have vacation now for two weeks. Now, I want to do a lot of painting on this piece in those two weeks. I'm not going to pretend to say that I'm able to finish it in two weeks. That's for a 60 by 90. I think that's impossible. But I hope to do a good chunk of it. I think I would be happy if I'm able to finish let's say half of the painting. Is that a good goal? What do you think? Is that doable? Or because it's round and round is a little bit easier than doing a square. So what do you think? Is that possible or am I being delusional to myself and standing my, setting my standards way too high? <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. A 60 by 90, how long does it take you to do one painting of that size? I would love to know that. All right. I could maybe squeeze on one more bag in it, but no, I'm not going to do that. So let's put those aside, throw away the rubbish and grab the next color. And I picked up some dirt. Yeah. 900. 900. You see, even now, when I just labeled them up, I already have a rough idea where I can find the bottles. So I'm not concerned of finding colors when I'm doing the painting. 211. I uh, should be. No. 211. 2-2-1. 2-0-8. Did I miss a bottle? Huh. That's weird. Purple. 152. Did I make a note on the back? Did I miss one? Where's 211? 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, Okay, let's put that one aside and let's see what's going on. Is there a printing error? Okay, uh, hmm. that's not what I was expecting. Do you know what guys? I'm slowly starting to think that me with ordering canvases 
always run with bad luck. Because I ordered a painting that didn't have enough diamonds. As you could see, I showed you the giant roses. I received a painting which contains the wrong color, just like this one. And I can't to company about that one. And I was like, uh, you made a mistake, but I checked this one when I did the unboxing. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I had every color I needed it and I checked everything off that I received it. So is this an additional and did I miss this when I did the unboxing or did I make a mistake when checking and checked the wrong number off? Hmm. All right. Uh, let's continue and keep our fingers crossed that this just is an extra. Oh, I'm worried now. 3830. I'm really worried now. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. People who know me that live and work with me, my friends and my family, if they saw this video, they would be loving their ass off because they were like, uh, that's typical. When you do something, it always goes wrong. It turns out it's okay in the, in the end. Uh, it's, it's fixable, but it, my life never happens without a hitch. I would buy something from let's say i would i haven't yet i want to do one in the future let's say i want to order something from the diamond art company which is considered one of the best companies that do diamond paintings and i would do an order and Everybody is lucky, everybody gets good quality, and I would receive something that is a hot mess. That's missing diamonds, that's... The canvas is uh, damaged, always something. <laughs> and people who know me would agree. Yeah, they're like, yeah, that's normal. Oh boy. Okay, let's hope this is the only fluke in this in this painting, and that this is just an addition and an extra, and not a, that I'm missing colors or whatever. And if I do miss colors, I'm immediately gonna grab which I always will have here my coloring card DMC book and check if I have missing diamonds in rounds in my spares because at least then I can continue with the painting and not put it aside and hope that the company sends me Additional diamonds. Alright, we have an open bag here, and I do remember that, but that was fine because I only needed three. So that's the 11th on the list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, see, I only needed three bags of those. So, okay. So this is just. An additional piece of plastic, nothing to be worried about. But I'm gonna cut that off straight away. 
I noticed that some bags are fuller than other bags. Uh, I'm curious to see if they sent enough diamonds of every color. Because for the painting for this one, I need 578. Uh, if there are actually 200 in a bag, they sent me 600 diamonds, which is enough. But if there's less than 600 in those three bags, then I'm screwed. Because 333, three, three, I do have this in my spares, but it's a square. And I don't think I have a round for that one. All right, next color. 3712, 3712, that one. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna take my sweater off because I don't know why, but it's really, really warm in my apartment now. It's whew, that's better. It's quite hot here. All right, next one, 152. Let's see if I'm able to do three bags at once. I think I'm really screwing myself, but... No, okay, three is too ambitious. I didn't even cut two of them open. So, let's try that. This one out. <laughs> These bags are a little bit finicky. So I'm dropping diamonds all over the place. But hey, I'm probably not the only one with this problem. It's a bit of an antique rose color. Right, next one. Three seven seven two. Three seven seven two. Right. We're slowly. Chucking along. You see, this one is so full, I can hardly cut the top off without spinning any diamonds. And other ones are like three quarters full. It's so weird. So I wonder how they do the counting of the bags. Is it done by weight or ooh, is there another system how this is done does the computer actually count every diamond that's going into the bag or is it done by weight or is it like um, a machine where some diamonds fall in and it every Second, it opens and closes. So if something is stuck in the bin, that means less would fall through. So some bags are, because of that, less full. I wonder how they fill those bags. I think it's that machine that repeatedly opens and closes and chops the bag, you know, like chip. And that's why that some bags are 
probably fuller than others. I don't know if you can see it, but this one is a little bit fuller than this one. And this one is fuller than that one. I don't know, I'm curious about that. I did see a video once of a diamond company in China, but they didn't show the machines. They only showed their stock floor and how they package orders. It, it, it was very nice to see. It was fascinating, but and it's like what, a five minute clip. It wasn't even that long, but they only showed uh, the packaging of the paintings and a very short clip of how they do the spreading of the glue on the canvases. I don't know, have you ever seen that clip? I've, I've seen it a couple of times floating around on the internet in my suggestion box, so I think there are more people who have seen it. Did you see it? What, were you fascinated? Do you want to know more about it? Because I did. I was like, ooh, tell me more, tell me more. How do, how do you work? How does the factory from AliExpress, how does China factory work? I think that would be fascinating. Wouldn't you? Or you're like, nah, not interested. Just send me quality and I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, 413. And, and I'm also wondering, are you actually looking when people are doing kidding up or are you just like me uh, because I do uh, play a lot of YouTube videos of kidding up, kidding down, unboxings. Uh, unboxings I actually watch, I really watch but the kidding up and kidding down, but ooh, <laughs> I'm seeing there are a couple of diamonds floating at the bottom of my top because I didn't actually empty out the package good enough. Uh, 3371, but uh, what I do is this 3371. Three, ah, yeah. Sometimes I get confused with numbers. But what I do is uh, when I'm diamond painting, I'm just listening to the kidding up, kidding down, um, reviews of paintings, and you know, I'm just sometimes looking up and looking at the screen. Uh, I even do that with unboxings, but um, depending on uh, what kind of show showing video it is, because you got um, reviews that's mostly about one painting, or you have a stash video, which I also like because. Oh, there's still diamonds in there, because I'm always curious for new paintings, new styles, new ideas, you know, and uh, I watch a lot of the Diamond Art Club videos, because I'm actually quite fascinated with paintings from Chuck Pinson and, oh god, what was her name? 
no, not her, him. Um, Dominic. Dominic. Oh, what was his last name? The the landscapes style paintings from Diamond Art Company. I really love those. And uh, in the future, I definitely want to order a Chuck Pinson or a, a Dominic. Oh God, what was his last name? When I hear it, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's the name. And oh, I also like the, oh, the Spangler. Those are also very cute. Uh, but ooh, I heard for the Netherlands where I live to order from Diamond Art Company Oh, the cost can be really high because the paintings aren't cheap anyway. Like, uh, did I see euro prices? Yes, I think I saw euro prices like 60 euro ish, depending on the size, depending on, I think, the artist. Uh, then the shipping cost added, and for the Netherlands when we receive a painting from a certain amount I have to pay an additional tax to get them released from customs and I've heard shocking prices which they can ask to get something released from customs so you already have 10 euros for administration cost mind-boggling and then it's an x percentage from the total value of the package and i'm like that means a painting could quickly with the shipping and the taxes and everything add up to being like a hundred euros or more and I don't know about you but I can't spend that kind of money that easily like oh yeah yeah hundred take it so it is on my wish list to do uh, a diamond art club painting in the future when I don't know why am I grabbing this bow? I don't need this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I It's going to be somewhere in the future. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. And just to make myself going like, ooh, I really want one. I check their website regularly and it's like, okay. If I could, what would I order? And I've seen some really beautiful ones. I, I do want to landscape them. Because you also have uh, paintings from uh, fairies and uh, girls with crazy purple hair and um is that from um, margaret margaret Ma oh god i forgot the name i think they're cute but they're not my style uh, you know each their own some people are really fascinated with that style and i think they're gorgeous but they're not they're not me it, it's no and so I probably would go for something like a landscape. Oh, do you know which I really like? Oh, it would either be a landscape or the, the dragon ones. Is that the Spangler? No. Okay, let me show you because I really, really, really like those. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, where have... Did I sell that or did I see it on some other company? Oh, jeez. Category. Abstract animals. Is it there? No. Oh, who was it? Fancy mythical. Ik heb geen overeenkomstige locaties gevonden. Shit. Okay, it's turned off. Uh, oh, I can't find it. Do you know which one I mean? Um, nature tree, no arrival, sunset, sunshine, winter. Uh, I'm actually wondering who, what I'm doing. If I saw it on Diamond Art Club or did I see it somewhere else? Now I'm confused. Now I'm second guessing myself. Uh, oh, and I see the artist I meant, Dominic Davidson. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. Something like this. Isn't that gorgeous? I really like the landscape styles. Okay, I can't find the one I was talking about. And I'm second guessing myself now if this is the one. I thought I had it. I, oh, I see. <laughs> morning I'm on the dreamer design site I'm not on the diamond art club site that's why diamond art club go uh, diamond Expo. why is it showing me ah Dutch companies here we go Ooh, well okay hi <laughs> Diamond paintings that shimmer and shine. Okay. Uh, did I put it on my wish list? No, I didn't. Um, fancy mythical? I would guess it's there. Paris elves, dream catch scenarios with dragons. Here we go. Dragons? Dry filters. Yay, the other one. Yeah, this one I really like. Cookies and classics. You know, those are the paintings I'm talking about. This is definitely one I would order from Diamond Art Club. But like I said, the prices are for me in this country absolutely ridiculous. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. I, I have to save up to be able to do that. And it would help if I didn't buy so many paintings on AliExpress, but actually save them. Yeah. Some got trapped between two bags. If I would save up my money, um, I save up for a diamond art club. So, yeah. So. Okay. That's stuck between two bags. All right. Oh, guys, we've been filming for 42 minutes, so that's where we're way too long. I find that way, way, way too long. I think we're even filming over 42 minutes. I think this is turning out in a one hour video. So I'm gonna finish this off camera and I'll be back when I finish this and show you 
what's going on with this one if I found out why it's in this bag and if I'm missing some color and yeah I'll be back for you in like two seconds and for me however long this is going to take to finish this up I'll see you in a minute all right hi everyone I'm back I finished filling all the bottles and I got left with one empty bottle and the color 211 instead of 221. So what I did off camera is I grabbed my color chart and looked up the color 221. And that color should be shell pink, very dark. And 211 is lavender light. Now, I don't have either of those colors. I don't have the shell pink dark. So, I don't have anything to substitute these. So what I did after that is took a close look at the canvas to see where I would have needed the color 221, which I don't have. And let me grab something. Um, how, yeah, you could see this. So what I did, I tried to look for the symbol that is used for this bottle, which I'm missing the color of. And what I noticed is I got two here in his shoulder and two here, two here. A little bit more here, but it's all scattered. Oh, we got a little bit more here. Yeah, okay, we got here. I, I hope you can see it. Here, 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 here. This is quite a large area. But it's all in the shadowing of his arm. I've got a little bit here. So I was like, maybe I can get away with it. So what I'm going to do is... use this color uh, yeah I think I'm gonna do it I'm gonna pretend this is the color 221 I'm gonna heat it up and let me grab some scissors and finish this off uh, it took me a lot of 40 minutes to kit the rest of the diamonds up so I think I couldn't have managed to do another 40 minutes on camera and I think you would have gotten bored by listening another 40 minutes to me. So you know what, it's fine, it's done, everything's geared up. So for today I'm saying thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment or a question down below or even just to say hello and I say until next time, thank you for watching, bye everyone.